Okay, so here is a really quick flip through of the Saxon Math first grade edition. Uh, we actually started the kindergarten edition last year. She'll be going into the first grade now. But we started the kindergarten and it was moving a little too slow for her. Um, and so we started on the first grade, kind of towards the end of the year. And so this is where we are. I just want to show this curriculum. Um, because when I purchased the curriculum, I was actually not able to flip through the pages and it would have been really great to have seen a video like this. So I'm not really a video person, but Hey, maybe I can help somebody else out too. So, okay. So this curriculum comes with the teacher's uh, manual here. Um, and then it gives you two part one and part two student workbooks. And then you also get the meeting book in case if you did purchase or if you have used the kindergarten workbook the meeting book is pretty similar um, however it's a little bit like they have the weather in here now um, and just a little bit extras to work with but it's kind of the same concept so okay so I will start off with okay the meeting book typically we start off um, well, I took one to the main book. So this is a teacher's edition book. Um, just like the kindergarten, it literally lays out everything um, verbatim as far as like the lessons and what to say. I do not follow it verbatim, but <laughs> it is, a, I guess, a nice thing to have. So oh, here's our color, calendar patterns. So here's our table of contents. Here are our lessons. I believe there are 120 lessons, just like the older Saxon math curriculum. And it goes over everything. So, and there are assessments in here. This one actually has 130 lessons. Um, and this is a list of uh, materials. Saxon Math does sell a manipulatives kit, which is very helpful, especially for the uh, K through three portion of the math. Um, however, um, depending on, well, me, I'm on a budget, don't want to just like if I can get it for a cheaper price basically then I will and so some of the stuff like I basically looked what was included in the manipulatives kit and kind of just gathered the materials via Amazon the Dollar Tree and so on and so forth and just made my own really <laughs> but these are the materials that would be functional to have in order to do certain lessons and it may be something as simple as like pennies and construction paper um, or something more elaborate like a specific manipulative. So there is that. Meeting strips. Okay, so let's turn it over. Here's what the lessons look like. Um, you have your lesson preparation with materials, what to do the night before and in the morning, do this with your student. The meeting, which would include using this book here. Um, and so it says verbatim, show your child the Math One meeting book, your child. And then say this, say this, say this, they answer the question, spend about two to three minutes, blah, 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 go over the calendar. Um, these are things now like I said we don't do this verbatim but I kind of grasp what it is that they're trying to or what she should be understanding at this point and I just make sure that she understands it it's that counting and then you enter and then here's the lesson so identifying today's date that's what we're trying to help them learn today so 
you read you can either well you can either read it or just speak to them however your child needs to be spoken to and that's the gist of lesson one lesson two making towers for numbers one through five your materials you'll need the night before preparation and in the morning calendar you start off with the calendar weather graph you gotta work on the weather graph today it is blank blah 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 and then your lesson so here's your lesson your written practice now the written portion for the first graders it's going to show you a picture so we're gonna have these numbers one through zero <laughs> one through ten <laughs> I don't know <laughs> one through not zero through nine there we go zero through nine um, so that they can practice with those numbers and so it'll be in the back of here if I'm not mistaken all the way in the back here and you'll take it out and then they'll cut it out or you'll cut it out um, and then they practice with these numbers and then this is what the worksheet looks like so this is where your student hand handbook comes in so they give you two parts um, obviously you start with part one and it'll tell you which page not that it's focusing there you go okay so lesson two a and then you have lesson two b and so you'll open this up and in here you have a title page <laughs> you have to the teacher there you go um but a recording form for your students if you have multiple students but i just have one in first grade so i will fill this out assessment recording um, and then so this is like the beginning assessment second right 10 so a lesson 10 lesson 12 lesson 30 this is these are the lessons that you give the assessment and this is literally what the assessment is recording forms that you can use to be honest I do not use them okay so here is lesson 2a and so it'll be color the towers start from the bottom and they color that in draw pictures circle one of your towers and draw that draw the same number of animals so that's simple but okay so with us for the first portion side a we do it together and then for side B which is on the other side I let her do it all by herself all by herself same thing so we go back to the teacher's manual for lesson three right and here's the we set off with the meeting book here so let's go to the month of august or not let's go to okay here's august and then we'll fill in the weather and we'll color in the date and so with the date um you'll write the dates whichever day it starts on so if the first starts on sunday you'll write the first second third fourth fifth so on and so forth and they'll color in that they'll shade in that with a special color and basically each month has a pattern so it may be orange yellow orange yellow orange yellow orange yellow whatever and you say what color do we color today um and then so they'll fill out that and they're learning the calendar they're learning the weather so on and so forth and then you go over so the calendar here and then the weather and then you will do some practice counting um, and then you have the actual lesson portion and then this is going over the lesson and then once you are done going over the lesson most of this is just the speech of what they are asking you to say or something an idea of what you should be saying and then you have the written portion which is the homework portion and so that's telling you how to do it. So side A, like I said, we go over it together. 
So this is for lesson 3A. We'll do it together. And they'll practice the ones, the fours, the fives, and then answer this question. Trace, answer this question. Trace, and then answer this question. Well, trace. And then side B, they get to do it all by themselves. And so here's this. So as you can see for lesson 3A, um, practice our numbers, fill in the numbers. There's that. Um, these are the answers in case, I guess if you can't figure out the answers. <laughs> but yeah, so the answers are in here as well. Not that you will need them, but all right. And then lesson four, same thing, same thing. And the different, um, the different days, the different lessons, you have different manipulatives that you work with, like the little counting bears or the geo boards or just whatever, like the blocks, tower, the block, oh, I can't speak English today. The towers, <laughs> putting numbers in order, so on and so forth. And then so this day we'll practice 14 and 15. All right, so let's fast forward. Let's skip to lesson 39. Same thing, same thing. Okay, so that is pretty much all of that that I have. Um, I purchased, I actually purchased this curriculum from a store called Half Priced Books um, here in the DFW area. And I actually got the entire curriculum for $19, I think it was. So I'm always looking for the deal or the price. Uh, the best price that I can do like I said I'm, I'm always on eBay when it comes to curriculum or like the manipulatives or whatever that I can get my hands on um, just so that you know save a penny why not so <laughs> but yeah so if you guys want to see the manipulatives kit or if you want me to show a more in-depth video or just whatever you have any questions just let me know comment down at the bottom 